He tightened up a little bit on that very last one. Amy Christensen is no stranger to exercise. In the military, you have to take physical tests each year. She's active duty Air Force, working in IT on Whiteman Air Force Base. But these days, Amy's workouts look a little different. At MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center, the 33-year-old meets with a therapist to improve her range of motion after treatment for breast cancer. I just didn't think it could happen to me. In 2021, while deployed overseas, Amy noticed a lump in her breast. At her boss's urging, she headed back to the U.S. for testing. The diagnosis? Stage 1B breast cancer. The earlier we can detect a breast cancer, the lower stage it's going to be and the longer the survival is. Dr. Deborah Koivinen is medical director of the Ellis Vichel Cancer Center Breast Cancer Clinic. She says regular mammograms are still the best screening tool, starting at age 40 for most women. She also recommends monthly self-exams if a woman is comfortable. What I would tell ladies is that it's your body and nobody knows it better than you do. Amy opted for a double mastectomy, then chemotherapy, followed by radiation. Today, roughly one year after surgery, life has mostly returned to normal, and she hopes her experience will be a lesson for others. Somebody was there to advocate for me and urge me to get it checked out, and so that's what I'm wanting to do and hopefully doing for other people. From the University of Missouri, I'm Teresa Snow.